Everyone assumes that just because you were queer in the South that you were not okay. My grandparents are homophobic, and I remember going to my first Pride Fest, and I brought home a flag, and they've just burned it on our backyard. It's not easy to just be yourself. Well, David and Tim, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So the critically acclaimed film Gay Course Deep South, it is coming to the small screen on cable TV. You know, it tells the story of the San Francisco gay men's course as they tour the American Deep South. So David, tell us more about the making of the movie and the storyline. Absolutely. Um, the film captures the 2017 tour um, of the San Francisco gay men's chorus in the Oakland Interfaith Gospel Choir. Um, to the most discriminate to the states with the most discriminatory laws against the LGBTQ community, which happened to be um, in the deep south. And to kind of go back on what you just said there, David, you know, the tour, it was planned to change the hearts and minds in five conservative states, each of which has a troubling track record on the LGBTQ rights. Talk and elaborate a little bit more about that this morning, David. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, you know, the 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 real impetus behind uh, making this film and connecting with the chorus was that, you know, I was really shook by the divisiveness um, that the country was going through in 2016, and mm -hmm. that sadly is is going is still going through today. And um, <clears throat> out of all the stories, um, the 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 one that I, I thought I thought that stood a chance at bringing people together and and you know touching on both sides of the aisle was, you know, the story of the chorus, you know, going on tour mm -hmm. to the South. And, you know, the power of their music and their message is just something that you can't, you know, you can't, you can't look past it. You know, there's no way of you not, mm -hmm. you know, getting, getting, you know, warm and fuzzy about it. And, 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 mm -hmm. and, and it's just a great bridge to bring, you know, that family member or that friend who may have different ideas from you um, and different values mm -hmm. And, and, and just maybe start a conversation or just give a big hug. I've got the class read that proved you can. And it still looks the same as when you gave it to Well, I cannot wait for everyone to check this out. It's going to bring so much hope, acceptance, and love. And Tim, now I want to ask you, you know, how proud are you to see a film like this being brought to cable TV during the holiday season? Sure. Well, I'm proud to be the conductor of the San Francisco Gay Men's Chorus. I've had that job for 10 of the chorus's 43 years and, and just, you know, I'm grateful every day. The, um, you know, it, it did appear in over 200 film festivals and everywhere we went, people were like, when do we get to see it? When can we tell our friends? So finally they get to do it. And um, it could not be better than at this holiday season when, you know, everybody's, uh, well, everybody's hurting in so many ways from this 2020. And I think the music is going to just uh, soothe people's soul and they're going to see bridges built all over the South. Uh, it's just very, very moving. Every person that we do meet has an interaction that changes them. An 83 year old woman in this church this morning, she came up to me after worship and she said, I get it. And that was largely because you all were here. You know, I had, uh, we had just under 300 people go on this tour um, all through the wow. South. And each of them has a different has a different experience about what moved them, and I think the audience is going to be the same way. There will be some audiences who um, are gay and just are so excited to see a big gay men's chorus. But on the other hand, we yeah. hope that there'll be lots of people who watch it who, uh, for a moment, sit back and go, "Wow, you know, we are all human. We are all basically the same." <laughs> And uh, we can, the, there are some, some stories in the documentary of people among the South that really did embrace us and, and heroes in the South. And those were the really thrilling stories. Tim, before we have to go, I want to ask you, you know, what moved you being able to go on tour with 300 singers from the Gay Men's Chorus? Well, this is, um, as, as you will see, uh, it turns out that this is some of my story. I was a Southern Baptist minister of music with a wife and two kids mm. when I came out. And so over the last 35 years, I've been uh, working really hard to make sure that other people don't go through what I went through. And so for the chorus to be able to break these kinds of barriers on television means the world to me. I hope that there will be some teenager out there who is desperate and, and feels like they're the, the only one in the world and they're gonna watch this and realize that they can too have courage.
Well, David and Tim, I really enjoyed the conversation this morning. Everyone, be sure to catch Gay Chorus Deep South. It premieres Sunday, December the 20th at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time Pacific on Pop, Logo, and Pluto TV. You guys have a great and happy holiday, and thank you so much for your time. Thank you. You too. Happy holidays. Our pleasure.